What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell. In this video, I have my CyberDark deck profile, a deck that I've been wanting to be kind of good for the longest, and it's not like meta relevant or anything like that, but man, I tried playing them since they first came out. Um, they weren't good at all. I tried mixing them with Dragoonities or even Light Swarms and just, just different little builds, even like a pure build where I ran like the virus cards and what's that one dragon, the, the level three, um, normal dragon like they're whatever i mean they were beatdowns they were 25s but they're just so inconsistent and now um we kind of have a more consistent deck i wouldn't say it's like crazy good but it's more consistent and i do like that i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this deck can't wait to take locals can't wait to play this around and test it with my friends so yeah this is the deck that i built so let's get right into it i played three of each of the originals horn which is the my favorite one and uh, he pierces, and they all have the effect that when they're normal summon, you select one level three or lower dragon type monster from the graveyard and equip it to this card. Um, his effect is to pierce, obviously, and when if they would be destroyed by battle, the equip monster is destroyed instead. So they all have those two effects. His unique one is the piercing. So yeah, three of those. Three edge, and his unique effect is he can attack directly. Um, but the attack damage is halved. And Keel is, um, if you destroy an opponent's monster by battle, you can deal 300 points of uh, effect damage. So yeah, the original three. Now we got C Cannon, which kind of looks ugly to me, honestly, but it's a cool card. And he has the first effect of if this card is sent to graveyard while equipped to a monster, you draw a card. So cool, kind of recycles itself. Um, but the best effect is this one right here, which is you can discard this card to add a machine a cyber dark monster from your deck to your hand. So you want to ditch him and or pitch or whatever and get any of these and start up, you know? You have an instant three dragon. That's the cool thing about these. These are level three dark and dragon. So so much synergy with this deck. And did I talk about the second effect? When during by battle, eh, during damage calculation, if the monster equipped with this card battles, you can send a monster. So you can send another um, cannon, another card to set up for later plays, or you can set up this other card, which I'll show you in a minute. They've got Cyberdark Claw, three of these guys. Which, if this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to monster, you can target a Cyberdark in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it kind of recycles, like if Cyberdark was destroyed by battle and this was equipped to it, then you get to just bring that card back and next turn you have something to either get this or this if this gets to the graveyard so you know you kind of keep a cyber dark in your hand you can discard it to add a cyber dark spell or trap card so that's really good um oh maybe one day they'll have a trap card coming out i guess that's the whole thing there's only two spell cards i believe which i'll show you because i do play them um, but yeah, during damage calculation, if a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. So that's a really handy effect too. Do like it? I do like it. I, I like all the cyber darks. They're they're so cool. Zane is definitely still like my favorite in GX and his whole Hellkaiser Ryo, Hellkaiser Ryo phase, just awesome. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Two black salvos. Um, when I first saw this card, I was like, ew, what is it? So, uh, isn't even that good but then i saw the synergy with this deck a long time ago and i was like i gotta play this and i used to have three i don't know what happened to my third one but yeah he's a level three machine dark tuner that when he's normal summon you can special summon one level four dark machine type monster from your graveyard and the, the original three are all they fit that um their effects are negated which you don't really care usually sync it to for black rose dragon that's really all he's there for and the card you can send from your deck with cannon is a mag electromagnetic turtle you can send them and help the battle phase and that's really much it he like i don't know if he's gonna stay in the deck but for just added protection because this deck really i didn't really have uh good ways to stop things running two ghost ogre and snow rabbits just because effects you know are everything and hand traps are everything so good cards one maxi because maxi is good at one i think it is deserving to be at one i think it should stay at one i'm one of those believers i think it's a balanced card for what it is getting to the spells 
three Cyberdark Infernos, the new Cyberdark um, spell card. And it's a field card, and you don't need to run terraforming because you have claw. But yeah, Cyberdark effect monsters you control um, that are equipped with equipped cards cannot be destroyed by battle, by your, or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Also, they can't target them with card effects. So they have good protection right there. That's awesome. That's the only real protection they have is with this card. Um, that's why I play the Electromagnetic Turtle. But yeah, you can also target one cyber dark monster you control, return it to your hand, then immediately after this card resolves or the effect resolves, you can almost summon one cyber dark. So you can kind of switch out stuff that you need and um, just really cool. Um, if uh, you can use this effect, blah, blah, blah. If this card is in your owner's controls, destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can add one polymerization spell or fusion spell from your deck to your hand. So, you know, kind of helps out. Get stuff. Playing one Cyberdark Impact, and these are the only cards that Claw can search for. But yeah, I've had this forever. It's super worn out. <laughs> if you want to see the back, it's like super damaged. I used to keep it in like a deck box and just carry it around with me because I thought it was so cool. And man, this card is expensive. So yeah, <laughs> Cyberdark Impact. Return Edge, Keel, and Horn. From your side of the field, hand or graveyard to your deck and special summon one Cyberdark Dragon from your fusion deck. So, cool. Searchable. One Overload Fusion. Because if, you know, Cyber Darkness Dragon is takes five of these guys to come out. So, you usually won't have that on the field or in your hand. So, it's good to, like, have graveyard, you know, stuff to remove from your graveyard. And a Future Fusion. This is, like, the raw yellow mega pack version but they I'll, I'll pick up the newer version later but you know the first time you the first turn you activate it doesn't really do anything but the next standby phase then you can set you can reveal a fusion monster send the fusion cards and then the main or standby phase after that you fusion you know you get special from the fusion monster Ugh, confusing but you know you know you know future fusion zane played it he played it really cool it was a different more broken effect i'm actually playing three pot of dualities in this deck because you don't special summon a whole lot, honestly. You want to get to your combo pieces and kind of sit on the Cyber Darks. Um, then later on in the late game, you use Black Salvo and on stuff like that to try to clear a field. Two allures. I'm thinking about bumping up to three, but for right now, two for me is good. I like three Twin Twisters, to be honest, because this deck, like I said, has no real protection. So if you can just clear out your opponent's back row... Um, it's really good and you don't really care about some of these monsters going to the graveyard. You kind of want them in the graveyard to be honest. So yeah. Twin Twisters. Two Dark Holes just to blow stuff up if you can. Foolish to send whatever you might need to the grave. Limiter Removal. Power Spell card for any machine deck. Just really good. Can end the game. And one warning. Because I like warning. I am. I like having warning. Some people might think like, oh, you just run all spells and just have a different... I, I like it more having warning. So it's my preference. It's how I like it. If you don't like it, you can take it out. And honestly, I might take out one of each of the main ones and add in like three strikes when they come out, when they're like all super, because I sold my strikes um, when I heard about the reprints. And I'm like, yeah, man, let's get reprints. They're probably like five bucks, five, six bucks. And that means you can get like a play set for less than one strike right now. So... Extra deck. I have a small extra deck. You can add in more if you want. Um, you can add in stuff you like. But I'm playing two Cyber Darkness Dragons. Two probably will never come out, honestly, by the way I play. I probably will just get one. And that's only like a late game situation. But yeah, five Cyber Dark Effect Monsters, which is why you have Overload Fusion. Um, I mean, if you, you can Future Fusion this out too and stack your graveyard up and just send all the effect monsters, uh, you know, stuff you don't need. But, um,. Yeah, it must be first fusion summoned, and if this card is special summoned, you can equip one dragon or machine monster from your graveyard and uh, equip it to this card. This card gains attack equal to that original monster's attack, and when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can send one equipped card you control to the graveyard, and it doesn't have to be a card equipped to this one. It can be any, and negate that effect and destroy it. So it's pretty cool. Usually I'll have them at 4,400, and I'll show you, like, why. Um, but you can actually get 7,000 
And again, I'll show you why. So, two. The one Cyberdark Dragon, because he the OG, and I am playing the one Cyberdark Impact. And he's cool, you know. He takes Horn, Edge, and Keel, and he can't be Special Summon except by Fusion Summon. When this card is Special Summon, select one Dragon-type monster from your graveyard and equip it to this card. And this card gains attack equal to that monster's attack, and it gains 100 for each card in your each monster in your graveyard. And this card would be destroy battle. You can destroy the equipped card instead. So that's pretty cool. One Chimera, Pretty Planet Chimeraflasia, Carchimeraflasia, Chimeraflasia. Um, you don't really use worry about that. You just send it with Claw, I think, right? Claw is the one that sends a extra deck monster. So this is where we get into that extra deck monster territory. Or yeah, extra deck monster. So you can send this if you want. And because the next standby phase after this is at the graveyard, you can add a polymerization spell or a fusion spell card from your deck to your hand. So, you know, card to just send to the graveyard to just get stuff. Five headed dragon, another card. Probably the first card I would send, or second card, depending on how I, you know, where the duel is going and what you have. But yeah, just a 5,000 monster you can send to the graveyard with Claw's effect and re, you know, equip him with Cyber Darkness Dragon or Cyber Dark. So make them really strong. And I feel like these two Black Rose Dragons for the Black Salvos. So you can just blow up the field and then overload fusion or. Cyberdark Impact or whatever you need to do to get one of these guys out as long as you have this in the graveyard or something and also if you have this in the graveyard because it skills there uh, 24 to add on to this so if you can limit or remove or anything like that that's GG it's really cool so that's my Cyberdark deck really happy to have it thanks for watching peace